Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. So I'm going to go through the decks that are close by me at the moment in no particular order. So it's going to be a mixture of tarot and oracle. It's just decks that I have close by. First one I'm going to show you is the um, Crystal Alley Collection. Okay, this is the Evolution cards. The Crystal Alley Evolution Edition cards. So absolutely superb. Worked with crystals, chakras, and elements. That's the back of them. So that's deck number one. Have got um, language of flowers. I've been using this a lot on Instagram. Quick messages. It's really cute. Just got the name of the flower. It does have the Latin name up above. And it's got a keyword and then a little sentence underneath. Like heart's ease, compassion. Tread a little more attentively. So, yep, there's that one, Language of Flowers. Okay, I've got uh, Sant Muerte Tarot. And Santa Muerte Oracle. Now the backs of the Oracle cards actually makes a Ouija board. Sent them with their tarot, sent them with their oracle. Okay, Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. Some of these decks are out because these decks are out because I've got spreads that I use with them on Fiverr or um, Ko-Fi. So that's why some of those are on there. Um, also have um, Magical Nordic Tarot by Jane Wallace. Okay. With the Yggdrasil. Right, it's the back, it's the Bifrost, the guidebook. Now, Tarot of the Divine, I have out each day because I'm doing the Instagram challenge. The Rise and Fall for September from Lionhearts. So that's out because of that. Um, I do have um, Journey to the Crossroads Tarot and the Crossroads Oracle. That's my collection, my decks that I created. So I was using them. And then I do have Hand That Pencils Show Me cards, which is like a um, to do a spread, the past, present, and future, what is left behind, etc. Et what am I sabotaging? What situation? What I need to know, etc. Et so I can create spreads by that, which is quite handy sometimes. And I do have the Gilded Riviera Linen Mand, Cherry Machete. Totally recommend. This is the expanded pack, of course, so it's not just the basic Linen Mand, it does have extra cards as well. Okay, so our decks that I've actually got 
Oops, let's just put the book to one side. Okay, put those back in the spotlight. So they're all done there. Next I've got Sacred Sites Oracle. This one's out because I've been deep diving into the imagery on my blog. And you will have seen some of my videos with that. It's been quite good. Okay. I've got a compendi compendium of witches oracle. Doing this at the moment with the on um, Twitter. So it's got the witch, which is split into two groups, the witches and the voices. So this is today's one. Desk at the moment, the Rider Tarot deck. I love the colours, I love the feel of the deck as well, it feels amazing. And it shuffles really well and it speaks really well too, the messages are amazing. It comes in this little really cool box as well. Right, let's have a look at the um, ones that I use for um, bits and pieces here. Okay, so what have I got? Okay, I've got Angel Tarot. I've got the Angel Oracle here and the Angel Tarot. So let's begin there. So Angel Tarot by Curtis McHenry. So with the Angels and Archangels. Okay, the 72 Angels and the Archangels as well. Then we've got the Archangels and Sun Angel Oracle by Amber Waters. I like these two decks together. That's really cool. Okay, I've got the Universal Celtic Tarot. and the Blessed Bee cards. Well, they work pretty well together. Wisdom cards, and you saw the Crystal Alley cards, of course. These are by um, Tony Hartman. Sorry, I hope I'm not taking too long. I'm just trying to sort of move through the decks quite quickly. Okay, Tarot Decorative. Another Cheroma Chetty deck. Now this is, I love this deck, it's very um, in between Marseille and um, Rider Waite Smith of course. Absolutely love the imagery. I love this Two of Cups. You can sort of see anyway. Look for that with cards. Guidebook of course. Oh, we've got the um, This Is Art Love Oracle that I created. Romantic tarot. The elemental wisdom tarot. Let's see what 
minutes to make the cards. Okay, so. That's nearly it. Okay, this um, Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Yeah. Ooh, is um, Nina's Rune Spiral. Spiral cards. So I want to dive back into again. I haven't used them for a while. Okay, so that's it with this camera of all the decks that I have at the desk. Right, let me put those all away. Okay, starting with the bottom of the white trolley, let's have a look. What have I got? I've got the Ultra cards by Handy That Pencil. Okay. Black and white. And I've got um, Learning to Witch and Ritual Oracle. They actually have the same back, so I can actually put them together, which is quite cool. Now, here is the Vestas Art Oracle deck. Another one that I made that's available on Make Playing Cards. Remember, most of my decks are available through Make Playing Cards as well. Okay, so we've got some Jinzutsu cards here, which look at Jinzutsu in many ways. So I have like the lock where it is and then some how to use it on the back. And kidney function, supportive flow, metabolic flows, diaphragm function, reality. So then the depths, you got fifth, six, of course. Second. There's a lot in here. So that's the Shinzitsu cards, which are quite cool, and they do have a little affirmation on them, so they can be used as a little bit of like a, you know, a daily reflection. Okay, higher love. They just got keywords on them, like limitations, new inspiration, joyful times. So those are quite good to if you're thinking about, you know, what do I need to focus on today? That sort of gives you some words. Okay. Card for time. These to my side. Okay, cards of time. So focusing on the days of the week, the months, the zodiacs. Basically, weeks, days, hours. So quite cool. I can break the messages. Okay, cards are for uh, let go. Which is like picture on one side and then little words on the other quite good and the inspired by Frida ones again pictures on one side words on the other I think I might keep those out for the moment 
Okay, I've got um, the linen man, so I've got um, pagan linen man. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do hand me that pencil. Sorry, I forgot to do um, here is always light oracle. Love the artwork, it's stunning. I need to work with this a bit more. It does have sort of these keywords as well, which you'll find on the images. So quite cool. We need to work with that one a bit more. Oh, I forgot to do um, preacher teachers cards as well. Belonged to Tishi actually when she was little. And then she gave it to Quinn, which gave it back to me. Okay, and it's a bit less or a colour. Let me be back. Actually. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, Divine Masculine and Feminine, the ultimate pack, which are gorgeous, love to work with. The only problem I have here is the writing. I really struggle with it, so I'm going to have to really work hard at working out what all the cards are with my magnifying glass and sort that out. Even though I love them. Right, okay, so I've got um, Kappa. Got Pagan Lemon Mart. These are a lot larger, so they're okay for doing small spreads, but not really good for doing big spreads. But I do like the cards. Okay, what do I got here? Oh, Alexandra Mutu. Oh, no, it's My Little Mind, sorry. But you can find again on Make Playing Cards, and it has got extra men and women, but it's also got a querent and got child and children, but it's got, also got querent and partner. So some are photos and some are stock photos. So some are my own photos. And then added snake to it. Rings. Oops, flowers, letters. So there's your partner card. And that's the querent card. And okay. Sandra Mutu in the land. I like the sepia tones in the decks. I do have his kipper cards as well. Japan linen man. Now these came off Game Crafter. I like using these. I like using these with the vintage Japanese deck. Vintage Japanese tarot. Which you will see at some stage. Right, okay. So, and then the last one is Tikiana Fortune cards. It's like my first linen man that I ever got. And it's a replacement, but it's all good. So we're getting there. 
Okay, so I've shown you all those. Oops. Let me get the next lot. Okay, next row of the trolley. Okay, I've got the Fairy Lights Tarot. Okay, I've got Tarot Familiar. I must have been doing something with the suits and things. Last time I used that. Okay, Seraphina's Modern Tarot. Voodoo Tarot. Okay, I've got um, Tabo de Marseille. Scarabio. Okay, Smithwaite Oracle, uh, Tarot, Sweet Smithwaite uh, Tarot, Waterless Edition. Of course, you'll all recognize the back. Tarot de Marseille, and okay, we've got the Common Tarot. If I hand me that pencil. Now, this is um, Major Arcana Pictures, and then all pit. For the miners, but they do have like keywords all on them. So then it's another really good deck to work with in that way. Mm, not sure about these decks. I think of another way to store them. Okay, so next we've got the before and after and the vice versa. So before and after and vice versa. So vice versa means it's on both sides. I sort of got dark and night. So there's lots of different things with that so I need to look at that a bit more I haven't really worked with them let's put those away okay mini weeks let's have a look now Magna Tarot is with Quinn, so I can forget about that one. <laughs> so I've got um, the Universal Mini. The New Zealand deity. It's a Kickstarter. Just the major arcanas. Maori deity. Wow. I've got New Zealand naturally, which is on on Game Crafter. Just to sort of show you quickly. Thoth, Mini Thoth, okay, um, 
another piece of tarot in the mini. You'll see all my decks are edged in some way. Okay. okay, so then I've got this tarot deck here. Okay, so that's that shell. Okay, the basket at the top of the trolley. It was taking a little bit longer. Okay, so we've got the Visconti Sword Cross. Okay, we've got the large thorn. We've got the Spanish Tarot. Okay, the Coffee Tarot by Janet Boyer, which I've kept the element cards in. Okay, Starman Tarot. Oh, there's the. Let's do the Starman first. Okay. mini steam tank which I need to put back into its little mini spot so it doesn't get lost and yeah it's a mini steam tank which but which Quinn actually wants so I need to get enough I need to get the full size for me I think I don't really use the mini even though I really love it okay Muriel Sometimes I think the decks are too, even though I like the minis, sometimes the minis are too many for using all the time. But I do like them. And they are handy when you're on the go. I must admit. So that's the Muriel. Oh, I need to get some decent bags. I think these organza bags are cool, but because they're easy to see. Whoa, I nearly lost all them then. Okay, the ancient Italian. Okay, the waterfall tarot. Okay, let's put some of these back. So I've got the Native American tarot. Now if you want to see any of these decks in detail, there are walkthroughs of all these decks on my channel. It's the Vintage Japanese. Okay. The, the Māori Tattoo Tarot. Quite cool. And the last one here must be the Epic Tarot. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that lot. Let's move on to the next, the oracle basket. Right, the oracle basket, we've got the Celestial Compendium, which is New Zealand creator. So this is houses, um, zodiacs, planets, and alchemical process. So it's quite a cool deck. Well, this is an affirmation deck. Which is quite handy. It was given to me a long time ago. Okay, so what have we I've got? Oh, She Whispers the Truth by um, Hand Me That Pencil. This is her animal deck. Um, her Mama Young uh, Oracle. Which is quite cool. You can sort of see. Anyway, so that's Mummy Yong. Tiny Rituals. Songs of My Heart. This is a great deck. It's got affirmations on it, and it references New Zealand a lot, of course, but it's beautiful. Justine's done an amazing job with these decks that she's created. Oh, that's the other um, ritual oracle with the black backs. Oh, Echoes of Nature. Same artist who did Waterfall or uh, Tarot and did the Tarot Guidance book as well. Okay, Journey to the Goddess Realm. The New Zealand Fairy Oracle, which unfortunately is no longer available as far as I can tell doesn't feel like it's been reprinted. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. It is an independent deck, so... I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we've got... Oh, this one here as well. I don't think it's been printed. Now, this is called Manifest Spirit, okay? So it's Wa... Wa... Wai... Rua... Wai Rua... Takatana... Okay? Okay, so anyway, this is no longer being produced. I couldn't see it being produced now either. I think this is it. So, unfortunately, so that there, that's animal, that's birds and animals and New Zealand plants. Okay, Native American Oracle. Okay. Oh. I thought about the Naked Truth, which is by Justine as well, by handing that pencil. I love this deck. And there's three beloveds as well. So it gives you that um, combination you can choose. And here is Spirit of the Wheel Meditation Deck. Got the um, moon phases, the clans, and the yeah, and directions, bits and pieces. So cool deck to work with. 
Okay, so that's that lot in there. Oops, that was really clever. Okay, start again. So this is the top of the um, tarot shelf. So we've got Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling. Okay. We've got Animal Wisdom, which has actually changed its name to Spirit Animal or something, Animal Spirits. Cool. Jane Wallace deck. I've got Oceanic Tarot. It's got pip cards, it's got keywords underneath. So cool colours through the deck. And her crystal power. Now they do come with good guidebooks, which is quite which I quite like. Crystal power. Again, um, pip decks, but got keywords and things underneath. It's working with crystal energy as well, so the guidebook's really good. Elemental power tarot. So this is a pip deck, but with some really cool imagery for the major arcana. really cool very pip and very element deck okay primordial tarot it's got its own system of course quite cool the back so it does do its own thing Supernatural Tarot. It's the only deck I've actually got a backup of. So, yep, pip. Um, in between the images. Quite cool. I've watched all 15 seasons of Supernatural. So that's quite cool. And, um, Okay, we've got raincoat stuff, we've got pocket size. Isn't that cool? I love the imagery of that deck. Okay, I've got a Tower de Marseille, the antique collection. Tarot, which is beautiful to work with. The images are gorgeous. Okay. Circle of life. I need to use more of. I used it quite a bit at one stage. Again, that's what happens. Go through and go through phases with my decks. Okay, and the occult tarot from Travis McHenry, the the other part to the well, I find the angel tarot and the occult work really well together. The backs of the cards, the edges are red. Goes through the demons. Of course. Okay, so that's those ones. One minute. 
the middle shelf of the tarot. Okay, I've got the deck of heroes. Gilded Tarot Royale, Chirimachi B. So this was originally the Gilded Tarot and it was ordered, now it's Gilded Tarot Royale because it's borderless. Okay, the Dark Goddess Tarot. Terror. And you can sort of see there. It's a very pippish deck as well, even though there are scenes in it. It's got keywords at the bottom. So cool. Now, like I said, I had a second edition of the Supernatural, just a different printer. Okay, the Herb Craft is Terror. So I want to work through more um, coming up, uh, end of September, October, from September the 21st approximately, is when we move into our spring. So that's it for the tarot. Okay, Oracle decks. Let's start with Seasons of the Witch. We've got the um, Samhain Oracle and the Yule Oracle. You can see the um, unboxings on my channel. Whoops, I nearly forgot to put the book in. And a lot of you have got the stick too. There's those two. Okay, Intuitive Soul Oracle, Lisa Williams. Love the stick. The back of the cards. It's got a guidebook, of course. It's got a keywords at the bottom and a keyword at the top or a title at the top. That's a really cool deck to work with. Okay, let's have a look. Lucy Cavendish, we've got Fairy Forest. Titles and keywords. Okay, we've got Fox Fire, Miracle. So I like using with the um, Japanese uh, vintage tarot. Oracle of the Mermaids, which I use with the um, Oceanic Oracle, uh, Oceanic Tarot. So really cool. Okay, we've got Gods and Titans. Reading cards. Uh, 
Here's of the houses and the planets and the sun signs, of course. Okay, we've got hay house. Okay, so we've got spirit animal. Dragon Oracle by Diana Cooper. Okay, I've got Divine Feminine. You can see I ended up numbering the cards. When I go into reference books, it just makes it a little bit easier. I just found they were so out of order and it's pretty the guidebook's pretty chaotic. But I love the deed. Okay, the power of love activation cards. These are really cool. Just words on them, of course, and heart shapes. Enchanted Map Oracle. Hello. Had some amazing messages with this deck. I need to rework with it again in a deeper level to really reconnect. Okay, Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. Really cool deck. Okay, so that's it from that shelf. We've got two more of the Oracle decks left. What's happening in there? Okay, let's put these all back. Okay, the last two shelves. Whew. Chinese Oracle. Okay, split into two groups, yin and yang. Yin and Yang, and I just put keywords on them to make them easier to use really quickly, even though there's a lot more information in the book, of course. So, they are the zodiac animals, the 12 zodiac animals split into two groups. Okay, a crystal oracle grid. This is just crystals and grids, which are quite cool. And Myths of Avalon. This is gorgeous. I've got four keywords around the edges. Okay, that pile. Next from Mandy Peterson Mary's with Independent Decks, both on Kickstarter at the time. I don't know what she's got left or whether she's ordering any more or whatever. You do need to contact her for any details. So these are the Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle, which you can use front and back, of course, which I use for my soul energy clearing sessions, which are quite cool. Okay, her other one is Healers of the Earth Oracle, which is gorgeous. Such neat colour. A beautiful imagery. The artwork is stunning. What is that there? Okay, nearly finished. A few more to do. Okay, I've got Wonder of the Mother. But it does have some father aspects in the cards as well, which is quite good. And you can use them 
for um, men in your life as well. So they've got pictures on the front, as you can see, and then on the back, you turn them over and they've got um, rather a large um, words, sentences and things on it, all about the front of the card. So those are quite good. It has got about fatherhood and stuff as well. And you can um, adjust. So that's a really cool deck to work with. Okay, now I do have the Māori Oracle. It's New Zealand. You can get it through Book Depository. So I presume if you get a book depository, you get it from Amazon as well. So that's Māori Oracle, so that's quite cool yet. quite like working with that one. I like the messages that come out of it. So really cool. Okay, so now from um, Christoph James, okay, we've got the Rain Coast Oracle. Quite cool imagery. That's the art. Okay, and then the other one is Raincoat Dreams, which is sort of lighter in shade. So I think I feel like this is more of a sort of a spring summer, and that's more autumn winter. Okay, so I've got Shadows of Light. This was a Kickstarter as well. I haven't really worked with this deck yet. I do want to. So yeah, really cool artwork though. Love it. You know, you've only got so many hours in the day and you can only work so many decks at a time and you just sort of got to spread them out and just choose different ones each month and see how you go. So here we've got The Fallen Angels, again by Nigel Suckling. This has been around a long time and then it was reprinted. So it's really cool. It's a really cool deck. Fallen Angels, I work really well with the Occult Tarot. Is it the same sort of energy? Okay, Shaman's Oracle. This is so cool. Split into different categories, of course. Cave painting type imagery. Love it. Like I love all my decks and I will work with them at different times. You just gotta sort of spread yourself out. You just can't worry too much about trying to work with them all now. Just one at a time and just enjoy the process. Okay, I've got the Angel Reading Cards by Debbie Malone. Oh my god, nearly finished. Okay. Oh, I forgot, there is another box, but I'm not going to do it in today. It's just playing cards and um, my own collection, which is... I'm going to show you some of the other. So I'm just going to worry about this lot. I think it's been long enough. Okay. Um, Sue Nicholson's Butterfly Guiding Light cards. These are chakra based. Deck, which is quite cool to work with. So yeah, that's it for now. I'm not going to worry about the other box to pull out. Got all, got all about it, but I think that's more than enough for the collection. The other box is just playing cards basically, and um, a few of my own decks, which you can find on um, my creations. You can find as a playlist in, on a um, not playlist as a um, video anyway. Anyway, that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded. If you want to see anything more about the decks or hear my thoughts about them, you will find play, you will find um, videos and things, um, unboxings, 
and if you want to know more information just give me a give me a message and i'll see what i can do in regards to the deck okay that's it from me take care and bless you